Just after five o'clock this morning, heavily armed police swarmed back to the scene of Monday night's shooting in Brisbane's north. They were responding to a report that the alleged gunman had returned to the house near where three police officers were shot. The people who have conveyed the information to us were quite certain that there was some activity in the yard and there was movement in the yard. The streets surrounding the area were sealed off and up to 60 uniformed and plainclothed police scoured backyards and under houses. Mounted police and trail bikes also joined in, searching nearby parkland. Residents were allowed to leave for work, but all vehicles were thoroughly searched. Craigsley State School was closed for the day. Students unable to return home were transported to another school. There are plans to close both local primary and state high schools again tomorrow. We leave no stone unturned, as I said previously. We will apprehend this fellow at any cost. It's the second time the area has been cordoned off in less than 12 hours. Last night there were reports of gunshots. But the wanted man, 32-year-old Nigel Parodi, who calls himself Jesse James, is still on the run. Despite one of the most intense police searches in Queensland's history, the alleged gunman has again managed to elude the dragnet. While the streets have been reopened to the public, police can't rule out the possibility that Nigel Parodi is still in the area. We've reached the, come to the conclusion that we'll, uh, we'll just um, reduce the, um, the, the level of the search, but we will still maintain the presence in the area. The Queensland Premier and Police Commissioner today visited the three officers injured on Monday. Their conditions continue to improve. Daya Clark, ABC News.